Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to take a look at the Hybrid Network. Uh, some of our friends over there have been covering information for the upcoming Venom movie, and they actually, like dug a little deeper into some information that came out from Discuss Film, and Discuss Film talked about how Venom 2 is not going to be shooting in Atlanta, but it's going to be filming some stuff on sound stages in London, actually. And I had heard about this being a possibility a while ago, so I was keeping an eye on at Atlanta Filming, who is someone we kind of went to a lot when the first season of this show, back when they were filming Venom 1 in Atlanta, and then before they moved over to San Francisco, and to do exteriors and like, you know, outside shots and stuff like that, and uh, the car chase scene and everything, the motorcycle chase scene. So, uh, you know, we I try to follow a lot of people that I see kind of have their thumb on the pulse of like where they're filming and things. And so Discuss Film had mentioned that they were going to film in London and Hybrid Network actually did, you know, did a little digging and found out exactly where they were going to film in London, which is pretty cool. So this information comes from them. I'm going to put a link to both of these articles down below. If you want to check them out, please do and follow Hybrid Network on YouTube. They are awesome. They gave us a shout out back when we did like season one of this show. And I met a couple of the people that work over there and, uh, you know, Nick being one of them. And uh, they've kept in touch with me all these this whole time and they're awesome really really awesome guys and i love their site and i love their youtube channel so please go give them some love and i'll put links like i said to these articles down below so we have here exclusive tom hardy's venom 2 will shoot at warner brothers studios leesden and i know some people are going to be like wait why are they shooting at warner brothers that doesn't make any sense uh well when i worked at sony you know there was like a lot of there's a bunch of sound stages there obviously and they do film sony production stuff there but they do rent sound stages out to other studios uh that's why everyone in the industry they try to play well together that's why like sony tries to play well with disney and marvel you know that's why warner brothers tries to play well with everyone there's like this common courtesy you know respect thing going on back and forth and it's because hey sometimes you might need studio space and the last thing you want to do is really piss off a studio uh because then it might you know i I, don't, I mean, I don't think anyone would hold that much of a grudge, but you never know. And plus, when there's business and money being made, you know, it's hard to say no to people sometimes, too. But when someone wants to rent your soundstage, you kind of are like, all right, cool. Yeah, you can use it for this amount of time before we shoot our next movie. And people, you know, kind of help each other out. Everyone works, you know, the, most of the industry is made up of freelancers. You know, people who work on movie sets are freelancers. And, uh, and so they jump around from network to network. And so you kind of want to keep everything moving there's a it's an industry right so you want to keep the business going and you want to keep as many people at least happy as you can make them uh when it comes to uh you know business and billions of dollars being exchanged and stuff like that so uh yeah so that's why i mean everyone rents space from each other it happens all the time and so as they point out here in the article yes uh yesterday discussing film this was like a week ago too because obviously i've been away for a while and i'm sorry i just needed a week off because i wasn't i wasn't burning out on videos i was i loved love making Venom videos, but I just wasn't feeling well last week and I needed some time to myself. Plus, I also didn't have any money to buy any comics. So uh, so that's why we're getting all this stuff done today and, and everything. So thank you guys for being so patient with me. Uh, but this was like a week ago and it said uh, Discuss Films revealed that Sony was eyeing a production start of November 18th in the UK. And now it looks like uh, Hyper Network can back that up with the location, which they said is the Warner Brothers Studios in Leavesden, which is located in Watford, England. Um, so that's pretty cool that they're going to film over there. I think uh, Morbius shot some stuff in London as well. So I'm wondering if there's going to be inner, you know, any connecting threads there, because obviously they're set in the same universe. So I'm wondering where that's going to go. I would love to see maybe this being Venom 2, maybe two post credit scenes, uh, you know, one with Morbius in it. And I know a lot of people out there want to see Spider-Man uh, to set up for, you know, Venom 3 being with Spider-Man in it or a crossover with Spider-Man. That could work. I don't know. You know, we'll talk about that in the future when we learn more. I don't want to speculate too much on that uh, but it would also be cool if uh, they shot a venom post credit scene for the morbius movie that would be really great and i think that would help amp people up because i think morbius and venom right now they're scheduled to come out only like two or three months apart in the theaters uh morbius being a summer movie like a late summer movie and then right now venom being you know eyeing that october release date like it was the first movie so um and we'll talk more about that in the future i know a lot of people are concerned about can Venom 2 pump a movie out in time? Is this, you know, possible? But yes, they're working on a lot of pre-visual stuff right now. They're they're working on concept designs and pre-production, and they're getting a lot of stuff ready. So by the time they start rolling the camera, you know, they might have a lot of stuff, you know, the effects already started, a lot of other things already done, you know, characters designed and everything. So that's what pre-production's for. It's to get all that stuff ready. So that way, when they start rolling, they can get it done. Uh, also, there were script issues in the first movie, and they had to bring Kelly Marcel in, I believe, uh, to come in and 
and help like punch up the script. And that's, you know, under, you know, Tom Hardy being producer of the movie kind of wanted because he likes her writing and he trusts her. So now she's a solo writer of it and she's worked on the script with Tom Hardy. So that saves a lot of time too, because now Tom can come in and the other actors, you know, can come in and know exactly who their characters are and, and just go and maybe improvise things here and there or come up with things on the spot here and there. But for the most part, it sounded like that was a big struggle, the first movie and why it felt like such a rush because there was stops and starts, you know, when it came to the script and everything. So this time, hopefully it'll be a more streamlined process. And then with Andy Serkis being so good with actors, I'm sure this is going to move along flawlessly. So I think it could hit that October release date, but maybe we'll have a bigger discussion about that sometime uh, in the future, especially if, if the date changes. Uh, but other things that filmed uh, in there in that area in, uh, in England and on those sound stages was Sony's Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. Uh, they say Sony's Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, Sony did was a big part of the production of it. Obviously, Marvel had a hand in it as well, and it was set in the MCU, but a lot of people forget that those movies are pretty much made by Sony uh, for the most part. And so, uh, so yeah, so Spider-Man Far From Home shot there, Men in Black, Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, so there was other things, other productions that have gone there, obviously, both Warner Brothers and non-Warner Brothers stuff. Uh, Fast and Furious 9 apparently just finished using that soundstage as well. So, um, yeah, this is great. This is great news, and this is just one part of the news, because the other part of the news, and like I said, I'll put a link down below right now, October 2nd seems to be the release date of 2020 for Venom 2. I think they could do it, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see uh, how that goes along. Um, working title for Tom Hardy's Venom 2 suggests they'll stick to the San Francisco setting. So now this I didn't know. I did know that the the, the title that they're filming under is Fillmore. Um, I did know that, but I didn't know it had connections to San Francisco. So this was a great article by Hybrid Network. I love the, the work they did and put into this. So make sure, again, like you send these guys some love. They're very, very uh, hard workers, and I, I love that they dug this up here. Uh, Christopher Mark here as well, just a couple days ago, actually. Um, so uh, Fillmore is a live music venue, uh, you know, has appeared in Marvel Comics, and it's in a neighborhood in San Francisco. Now, that much I did know, but uh, I didn't. I, it didn't dawn on me when they said, hey, we're going to film this movie under the title Fillmore. And what that means is, because uh, I think the first movie was called Antidote or something like that. So anytime you saw a sign, like th this is how they try to avoid big crowds from, you know, everyday people that are walking around. If they see a sign that says, we're filming the movie Fillmore, uh, chances are you're not going to take one second to look at it because you're going to be like, Fillmore, what's that? And you might look over and be like, oh, is that Tom Hardy? I don't know who that is, whatever. Uh, but for the most part, it might get people moving along. Like it's it's a title just to, to you know, detract people from just massing around in a large area because obviously you get that stuff in the background when you're filming and they don't want large crowds just you know, awkwardly standing in the background for any shots. Uh, and so, and they do have wranglers and people and PAs and other people to like, you know, move the traffic along and move the crowd along. But also, like I said, you don't want to just advertise, Hey, we're filming Venom 2 here. Cause that might bring a large crowd over. Um, you don't want to say that we're filming Avengers here. Cause you know, that might bring a lot of crowd over. So, the goal, at least, you know, before the crowd can see the actors is to not advertise that you're filming that specific movie. So Fillmore is just the, you know, the name that they're going to go by when they go around filming. When people walk up and say, hey, what movie are you filming? They can go, oh, we're filming a new movie called Fillmore with Tom Hardy. And then people will be like, oh, whatever. OK, cool. And they'll leave. <laughs> uh, that'll be the average person, not the person that researches this stuff on the Internet. You guys will know the truth, obviously. But uh, for the most part, people will just ignore that. So, uh, yeah, so that is the, you know, information here. Fillmore is a historic music venue in San Francisco built in 1912 and originally named the Majestic Hall. It became the Fillmore Auditorium in 1954. Uh, it is in Western uh, edition on the edge of the Fillmore district and upper Fillmore neighborhood. So again, that kind of stuff I didn't know about. I, I, I've heard of the name Fillmore. I've been to San Francisco a few times. I know it's a music venue, but that's all I knew about it. So this was cool. Just like a little background information on it. Um, and uh, hopefully they'll film in that area, too, because I know they're not going to shoot the whole movie in London. They're going to need exteriors, you know, obviously in San Francisco. So they'll probably hit San Francisco and, and film there again as well, which will be great. And if they do and if I have time off from work, I may actually try to go up there to areas that they're filming and, you know, try to be an extra or try to walk in the background or or at least just see where they're filming uh, for you guys and report it for you guys. Um, I'll do my best. I, no promises, obviously, because I don't know if I'll get wind of stuff like that early, but I'll just try my best, you know, for you guys. Because uh, San Francisco, it's like a seven, eight hour drive for me. So, I, you know, if I got like a couple days off work or took like a weekend off or something or three day vacation or something in the middle of the week, I could maybe go up there and, and try to get some footage for you guys. 
Um, so yeah, and then uh, yeah, Tom Hardy obviously is coming back. Michelle Williams, and we're gonna have Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy with Andy Serkis directing. Um, and cinematographer Robert Richardson uh, is officially set for to be the DP of the film. So we already know all that, but this was great. I loved going through here, and it looks like filming is still gonna start in November. And that's fantastic. I'm, I'm so excited to see uh, what they do with Venom 2. And, and I want to see people getting footage if they do any exterior shots of footage of these actors walking around. Because I'd love to cover that kind of stuff for you guys again like we did with Season 1. I also want to throw this in at the end of the video here because I thought this was cool. Uh, there's a Hot Topic exclusive for you Venom you know, Funko Pop collectors out there. I have a couple of them, but I don't have like the whole series. I Not all of them interested me, but this one definitely does, you know, having like the corrupted version of Venom. I do love the design of it. I think it looks really cool. The spiral of Into Madness and Into Insanity and stuff like that. I, I, it looks so great with the red and everything based on Ryan Stegman's artwork. So um, I am going to go to LA Comic Con. I may go down there for like to do a panel or do something. I, I'm not sure yet. I'm still working out some things, but it looks like I might be able to go and I requested a day off work. So hopefully I get that day off so that I can go to the show and if so I'll make a little fun video for you guys of me hunting down this uh this glow-in-the-dark Venom figure here uh, which I'm so excited for and I'll probably get that cosmic ghost rider in the background too just because he looks awesome uh, but uh, yeah so I wanted to show this off and then I wanted to give a shout out uh, to Tom Hardy for his birthday it's his birthday today he's turning 42 so big shout out to Tom Hardy and uh, I posted this on Instagram so you guys can you know see that image but just you know if you, see, you tag him or something say happy birthday to him from from us here the parasites at the Venom vlog and so yes happy birthday Tom Hardy uh, thank you for being an awesome Eddie Brock and a great Venom and I cannot wait for the second one, obviously. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to give a shout out to this guy um, at OK Poopy, I think it is, uh, where he says, I effing hate Vincent D'Onofrio. I don't know what you got against Vincent D'Onofrio. That dude's awesome. Uh, but I don't know how I got lumped into this. I don't I don't know. Uh, it has Reese and Panhead and Nerd Geeks, which I, I think I follow them. I don't know if I follow Trash Brock or not. Um, sometimes I get follows and then I follow back you know, immediately, uh, if I see them that they're Venom related or something like that, because I'm like, oh, cool, another Venom fan. So sometimes I don't pay attention to that stuff. So, I've, so forgive me if um, if I do follow you guys and I'm not understanding that I do. Uh, but I got lumped in with this. It says at Venom Vlog, at Reese, at Panhead, at Trash Brock, and at Nerdy Geeks. Uh, Joker Gang. Am I in the Joker Gang? Did somebody put me in the Joker Gang? Because um, if so, I I don't know. I, I'm not affiliated with the Joker Gang. Uh, but it says hashtag Joker Gang is crap. Uh, you psychos and Venom lovers, you just, you got a typo here, but you just J off to comics while I suck on BTs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I laughed at this. I thought this was so funny. I was like, wait, how did I get lumped in with Joker gang? And I go, and, uh, I thought at first I read it as like, he said, I was like, I was like basically S in the D of Venom stuff, but I'm like, no, I'm pretty critical of Venom. Like ask Donny Cates or, you know, even the movie, I think I gave a seven out of 10 of, I gave it, like, I was pretty critical of the movie too, uh, but I still overall enjoyed it, but I was critical and I, there's a lot of things I hope they do better the next time around. Uh, but I was like, oh, what is he saying? I kiss butt. Like, no way I don't kiss butt like I'm pretty honest with my opinions and I'm sometimes I'm brutally honest uh, but that wasn't what it was saying at all it was saying that we J off to comic books uh, I don't know something about it maybe it's just because it's the morning and I'm tired but when I read this it made me laugh so hard so I just I don't know I know he's a troll but I wanted to give him a shout out because I just it made me laugh uh, the the s the i s on b bts at the end was uh was hilarious <laughs> I don't know I, I couldn't stop laughing I like the response to beautiful is boring says uh, I JF to to comics and SBTs. Thank you very much. It's multitasking. Uh, <laughs> got good, B. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I thought this was hilarious. It made me laugh. Um, so yeah, I might. Um, I don't know. Big shout out to this guy for making my morning <laughs> and making me laugh. Uh, but uh, yeah, don't you know when people say stuff like this, like don't take it so personally. I see people get so mad on stuff and they they yell and they scream and you know I've seen like you know not to call you guys out, but like Reese and Panhead. Um, there, there's been times I've muted you guys because of how intense you guys get and and how brutal you get. And I know we all have our bad days. I'm I'm no saint myself. I've certainly slipped and 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 gone after people uh, and stuff. But I try when someone has an opinion on something. 
I, I try not to mess with them. If they personally attack me, sure, maybe I'll, I'll stand up for myself if I feel like it. Some days I'm just like, I don't care. Uh, but this, I didn't even get the notification for this, uh, which really bummed me out because I would have liked to, to have seen this right when it first popped up. But uh, I think uh, our friend, um, Let's Talk Scream, I think she posted this. And I saw Elysium and I of Elysium and other people commenting on it. So, um, so yeah, but it made me laugh. So I don't know. So like something like this, I don't take this personally. Like, this isn't someone like calling my mother, you know, something. Thing or, or you're coming at me personally like it's not like that like this he's just making a joke about about uh, a jay and jay and off to to comics which is i don't know i thought it was hilarious uh <laughs> so anyway um yeah so shout out to you and shout out to everybody else who follows this channel whether you love me or hate me um you know, I like hearing criticism and I like being trolled sometimes. It's funny to me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> getting to be an old man. So uh, so I, I don't mind it, uh, especially if I understand that it's a troll. Sometimes I don't I'm because like, I am, you know, a little older. So I'm like, wait, what is he saying to me? But uh, yeah, some people are like, dude, it's cool. He's just trolling you. But this time I felt like, oh, OK, yeah, this is obviously a troll. And it made me laugh uh, whether whether he's vindictive or not in his comment. It made me laugh. So uh, so good job to you out there. OK, poopy. Uh, I'll give a shout out to someone who is negative towards me but I still thought it was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, these uh, events, happy birthday, Tom. And then also the Funko Pop. I just wanted to shout those out real quick too at the end of this video and make sure you follow Hybrid Network. I'll put a link to their YouTube down below and the two links to their articles as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all the stuff we covered in this video. Please let me know. This was a long discussion, but I just thought, yeah, let's take some time with it. Let's have fun. Let's rant, whatever. Um, and uh, I will have some comic reviews coming up for you guys very soon. We have the Symbiote, um, you know, uh, Symbiote of Vengeance comic that came out this week, Deadpool versus absolute carnage number two came out this week and then we also got a uh, venom number 18 and i have a lot to say about all three of these books so we'll get into it in the very next episodes thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace